Hey everyone, welcome back. Apologies for the nasally voice. It's flu season. I'll be fine in a day or two, but for the time being, I have this share like intonation to my voice. Anyway, I have been thinking about what video to film for you guys this week, and it came to me that I have been very happy with my beauty routine lately. Not because it makes me look like a top model, not because it is super fun and the products are super exciting, but because it works. I have talked about this in the past. I think that a lot of what looking polished is, is having a beauty routine that sort of highlights your features, but that is practical so that you can do it every single day. There's nothing worse than thinking about a beautiful outfit, but then not having enough time to take care of your grooming, of your makeup, of your hair, of your body, and then it all sort of crumbles into pieces and looks kind of dismembered and discoordinated. So these are products that I basically use every single day that might not be the most glamorous, but that actually work. Beginning with something that you guys ask me about a lot, which is my nails. I have finicky nails, they are brittle, they are fine, they are very hard to apply nail polish to, I get chips after a few days if I go to a manicure, so I always like to be very consistent with the products that I apply. If you have watched my videos in the past, you will know that I am basically wearing this nude nail polish in about 98% of them. It is the London Town Nail Illuminating Concealer. This makes your nails look so beautiful, polished, kind of princess nails, very sophisticated, goes well with everything. I can have this on my nails for a whole week and it doesn't chip. It's also really easy to apply and reapply. The fact that it is a light color makes chips less evident as well. But I just love the look of red nails. I think they look so glamorous. They add an edge of chicness and of more luxurious feel to your hands. So on Ask Charlie's channel here on YouTube, if you don't know about her, I love her. She lives in the English countryside. She deals with horses every day, she does a little bit of gardening, she cooks a lot, and her nails always look perfect. And one day she talked about Essie's gel couture line. I wasn't very hopeful, my expectations were very low, but you know, we'll try anything here. So I got this little kit that came with the nail polish and the top coat. It is two steps, you can also add a base coat. I go for the SC Strong Start. It's very simple. The magic does not come from this. It comes from this. So then you apply your color and then your top coat. It gives you a gel effect. I cannot do real gel. I cannot do acrylics. I cannot do tips. They just make my nails worse. But these are applied like a normal nail polish, but they last like a gel. On my finicky nails, I can go about maybe five, six days without having to reapply it, which for me is near miraculous. If you have normal nails at home, I'd say you probably get 10 days out of this baby. I love this shade Bubbles Only, which is the one I'm wearing right now. It's a bit more deep, has a blue tone to it, a very classic, very chic red. But I also got Rock the Runway, which is a bit more of an orangey, warm tone red, beautiful for summertime. I think red is one of those colors that even though they are vibrant, they are a classic. So if you love that more classic look, wearing red nail polish totally fits into that. Moving on to body care. Now, I am very lazy when it comes to body care. I hate putting on moisturizer. I, I'm not a fan. Exfoliating to me is honestly something I just started doing when I turned 30. Before that, I wasn't even paying attention. Just because I find it so messy and it just, it seems like it doesn't work so well. But then I found this product by Fenty Skin. It is their Cherry Dub Triple Action AHA Body Scrub. This thing works like a charm because when it says triple action, it's because it has the AHA, which is an acid, also has 
fruit enzymes which help with the exfoliation process and it has sugar granules so you're getting that acidic sort of chemical exfoliation that really helps sort of eliminate that outer layer from the skin and you also get a physical exfoliation from the sugar scrub it smells like cherries it's delicious so you apply it, do a little bit of scrubbing, then you leave it on for maybe a minute. And when you rinse it off, I feel like it actually leaves a bit of a nourishing factor on your skin. So it doesn't feel like you just really hurt your skin barrier. It really feels like it's a product that's working. The effects are also very lasting. I have felt that with other exfoliators, I will see a bit of ashiness on my elbows, on my knees after a few days. This prevents that way better. Absolute winner. And another body hair product that, no, this is not very glamorous. I have talked about this in my Provence vlog, so I will repeat it again because I feel like that's what friends do. If you suffer from bad odor under your armpits, might I suggest using a glycolic acid product? This is Caudalie's glycolic essence, so it's a bit gentler. Caudalie is known for their more natural approach to products. What I do is I'll put this on a little cotton round in the evening before I go to bed when I'm not wearing deodorant. I apply it to my underarms and then the next day I'll apply my deodorant as normal. I can feel a difference when I apply this and when I don't. And I think this would be a great partner if, for instance, you're going the natural deodorant route and you find that it's not effective enough in the smell department. This is not a deodorant, so it will not keep you from sweating, but it will kill those bacteria. Glycolic acid actually kills the bacteria that causes that foul smell. So you know that you are using scientific elements to counterbalance that and not just deodorants with crazy claims that end up not being true. Now moving on to makeup. The first step that I do when I apply makeup is my base. And I know that a lot of people love foundations and I do wear foundations for special occasions, but since I have very delicate, very thin skin, foundation is visible on my skin. It, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me being finicky, but I feel like you can see that I'm wearing makeup, which I think with tinted moisturizers, with BB creams and with CC creams, that doesn't happen. And for day to day, I have been loving wearing the Herborian CC cream. I have the travel size because I actually use two different colors. So there is the Doré color, which is a bit more gold, and then the Claire color, which is a bit paler. I mix the two depending on the time of the year, and it's also easier to keep in my bathroom. And what I'll do, I'll squeeze a little bit on one finger, squeeze a little bit on the other, paint my face kind of like a football player, and with my own fingers, I will apply it to my skin. It has that texture of a white cream with the little specks of pigment that once you blend it in, they start to sort of melt together. And I find that that really sort of melts into my skin without looking obvious. It's not going to correct under eye circles, not going to correct dark spots, but it will give you a uniform base. So then I can go in with a corrector or with a concealer over it. This also has SPF, which is not really high, it's just 25. So if you're going out, I wouldn't recommend just wearing this, put on a sunscreen underneath. But you know, it does have that added protection, which is very common on Korean skincare products, which Herborian is. So I feel like it's also great for my skin. Still talking about complexion, I suffer from something that Given my very thin skin, I feel like I look like a ghost. It's almost as if I turn gray if I don't have color on my skin. So I will resort to bronzers, which make a huge difference on my skin. Bronzers and blushes are my go-to step if I only have to choose one for that day. And I came across this one from Dr. Hauschka. It is their transparent, translucent bronzing tint. This is a miracle in a bottle. You'll see that I am almost out of it because it just works so well. I throw it on my skin with no care. You can mix this up with a foundation or with skincare to sort of get it all over. You can apply it directly on your skin like an actual bronzer to get a bit of a contoured kind of more 
a lively, healthy look to your skin, which is how I do it. It blends like a dream and then it sets and it stays on. And final complexion product is this blush from Another Stories. You think of Another Stories and you don't think of their beauty section, I would recommend you take a look because they have amazing body washes. I have some perfumes from them. They have amazing, wait, where is it? Like this eyeshadow I got from there and it is just beautiful. Look at that, the pigment. They're really good at beauty, so highly recommend you check them out. The reason why I love the blushes so much is because when you are are in a more optimized beauty routine, you will want a product that is multi-purpose and their blushes are also lip tints. This one, especially the burnt cinnamon color, is just phenomenal for adding that flush to your cheeks, but also to your lips. I'm actually wearing a like really tiny bit of it today over the next product that I'm gonna show you but just livens you up so beautifully. The fact that it is a cream makes it easier to blend. The color is this beautiful kind of burnt cinnamon reddish, sort of terracotta brown orange situation that I think is very effective in adding color to your face. But if you find that burnt cinnamon is too much, Ripple Wish is really beautiful. So it's that corally orangey pinky that goes well with a lot of different makeup looks. And the packaging is super sleek, so you can throw it in your purse if you wanna reapply it throughout the day with your little fingers. No hassle, it's also made in Italy, which is always a sign of good quality makeup, so you know you're getting yourself a very good product. Then for my lips, I have been loving this so much. It's kind of a problem because I get addicted to it. It is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. It is a gloss in a balm form type of situation. It is just apply and apply and apply. It's so plushy and nourishing. Smells of coconuts. I love this. I can apply this without even looking, which is great. The color I have it in is Orchid, which is the color of my lips, but just lightly darker, which is what I was looking for. But they do have other shades that are a bit more vibrant, a little bit more deep. The fact that it is in a tube like this makes it a bit denser, so it doesn't move around as much. It lasts really well on the lips, unlike those more liquid glosses. And final product is for my eye look. Now, there is a true temptation in buying eyeshadow palettes. I know that we all want to achieve that beautiful smoky eye. We want that cut crease. We want that sparkly halo effect eye makeup, but we never really have the chance to do them, do we? So we end up buying a bunch of eye products that collect dust and occupy space. So I've learned to keep it very simple. For my day-to-day, -day, I'll just go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Classic Eye Powder Pencil in the shade Classic Brown. It is already tiny because I wear this basically every day. What I love about this is that it is a bit more powdery, so it blends really, really easily. I know there's a lot of satisfaction in applying a more gel-like pencil, but that is actually giving you space to make mistakes because it's a bit more pigmented, it's a bit more visible. Draw this on, blend it with your fingers or with a brush without a lot of care. It already defines your eyes without being too much. If I want a bit more definition and I'm feeling a little bit more artsy, I'll go in with the Shiseido Arch Liner Ink. I love this because the tip is minuscule, so you can get really in there. I have really tiny eyelids, so if I have a big brush, I'll just draw everywhere. This is very minimal, so you can get really precise with how you draw it. And I find that that already gives me movement, already gives me that definition is what I'm wearing right now, actually. And I feel like it does a pretty good job. It's not going to be super impactful. It's not going to be that striking makeup kind of shape shifting eye look. But for day to day, that's not really what we're going for. 
is it. This is it, everyone. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you get any of the products, let me know what you think. I find that they're pretty universal, but you know, I have, again, very sensitive, fine skin with not a lot of oil. I have really brittle nails. So if you're different in that way, do consider it. If you have any absolute hero product that never fail you, let us know down in the comments below because those are worth our money and we will see each other again next time. Bye-bye.